Time for a close up folks. Look at this. Again, another form of grass, the steep attenuissima and then interspersed at the front in places. We're gonna have this beautiful penicetum on. So let's put another, another couple in just to show you the look. And then right at the front, I've got about 70 of these little bad boys. So as you can see, what it's gonna look like. And what we don't have here is the, uh, the brilliant white stems of the birch trees, which I'm very excited and privileged to be able to create such a scheme. It's not very often you get to plant hundreds and hundreds of grasses uh, they came from Rochford's. Thank you very much indeed, Andy Moran from Rochford's for, for helping us out on this project. Uh, it wasn't short notice. He had bags, bags of well-planned notice, weeks and weeks, uh, and to get hundreds of grasses that all look the same, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with the quality and, uh, and the freshness and uh, all the soils nice and damp, and you can tell that these plants have been very well looked after. So enough schmoozing there. I'll expect some free plants next time. Follow me some more. Check these fellas out. These are all sold, sold to us, because we're going to plant them here. The skip isn't a plant, that's, uh, I don't think that's there for any other value apart from throwing rubbish away. We don't need many more. We've had three grab lorries, probably need another one and, a, and about half a dozen more skips to finish this job. But uh, we're here in this amazing surrounding of this brilliant white bark. Look at this, like salmon cow's teeth. They are the Tuli Utalis Jacquemontii, Himalayan birch and um, the idea of this planting scheme is to hide this fence with the red looking cornice deciduous so you can see mainly the bark during the winter bright red bark during the winter that's going to have swathe planting mass planting to cover the fence and then around these trees that are going to go in this afternoon we've got all of those plants the penicetum on that i've just shown you the carex moroi ice dance and also we've got a, a couple of hundred and um, they are steeper tenuissima sort of uh, horse's tail beautiful looking plant stonking we promised you beautiful looking aces it's the worst and the best time of year for aces because all the leaves are going to come off and you're just going to be left with the stem so that's where we've got a variety of different stems. We've got various different types of acer, some with green leaves, some with purple leaves, some with different colored bark. The sangu kaku is a, is a prime example, but this isn't a sangu kaku, this is a bit good. And um, we've got plenty more around the scheme. Anyway, need to show you this. Look how beautiful this hedge is gonna be. The hedge is gonna go all the way around the front of the house and wrap around the other side of the Acer Palmaton. That's the green beast over there. And uh, we've got some beautiful stones from CED. Thank you, Giles, they're very nice. Hand selected those uh, a few weeks ago. That was quite an exciting task. I think there was 14 small stones and that weighed just under two tons and it only broke two wheelbarrows. Thanks for that. Anyway, back onto the hedge. This books of Sempervarians in absolute prime condition for hedging. And you can see all the new growth. This is going to delineate or wrap around the front of the house as a backdrop to all of the plants that we've got here cut.